My name is Dr Helen Robertson, I'm a consultant community paediatrician. Well they meet me at a lot of different stages, so it's possible that I meet them at diagnosis, so I may be the person that explains to the parents that their child has got a hearing loss. I may, that may follow the newborn hearing screening programme, but I may meet them in clinics in the hospital where I work very closely with audiology, so that's having a child referred in with concerns about their hearing, and I'll be the doctor in that clinic and see them then. But lots of children with hearing loss have other problems, about 40% of them do, and so some of the other bits of my job, so in the Child Development Centre, I'll see children there with hearing loss, so for example, children with Down syndrome or cerebral palsy. And another very important part of my job is that I lead the team of doctors in Birmingham that do what we call the etiological investigation of children with hearing loss, and that means that we lead in trying to understand the cause of hearing loss in children and particularly because we know that some children can have other problems and hearing loss that we identify those problems and um, treat them if necessary. And so I do a separate clinic again in the hospital doing that. And I also work in places like special schools and we have special schools for children with hearing loss and special schools for children with other disabilities, many of whom also have hearing loss. So I see children from birth up until the age of 19 with deafness. Well, I'm not sure that I per se help them develop. What, we do, what I do do is um, take a very careful history from the parents and find out all about the family and things that may be going on with them and have a very close look at the child both physically and also to check in their development. And by doing that, I come to a, um, a diagnosis of what might be the cause and what associated problems there are. And people like the teacher, the deaf and the audiologist might see children with hearing loss very frequently. I see them less frequently and that makes it more easy for me to stand back and see what progress they're making and whether or not I need to in involve another member of either the health professional, so I might need them to go and see another kind of doctor like an eye doctor, or I might say actually we need the speech therapist to get more involved, or we need some more special health education. So I'm sort of keeping a, a, a look from the background really, and just following children over a long time, and just picking up things as we go along. But the teacher, the deaf and the audiologist do the sort of hands-on day-to-day stuff, and obviously the parents, because they're doing all the hard work. Well, I hope that when, if I'm explaining about the child actually having deafness, that they understand what that means and how we've done the tests and what we might have be needing to do next. I would hope that they would understand about how I've checked over their child and said, this bit's okay, these things are all right, but these are the little things we need to look at, and that they get an understanding of what has caused the hearing loss, because parents often don't have any experience of deafness ever before, they've never met anyone who's deaf, they have no idea where it's come from, their families don't, and so I help them to understand where it has come from. A lot of that's around genetics and that's quite complicated, um, but it may be about disease, diseases and things that they've never heard of, and so hopefully that they will understand what that means for them and the implications for them their child and the family, because it, some of these diagnoses do have wider implications, and that they know that they've got somewhere to come who's used to working with children with a disability or with more than one disability. And so I think they hopefully feel that they've got somebody that they can turn to over the long term, um, rather than just a one-off visit. Well, I've always loved working with children, and um, I originally wanted to be a GP, actually, but I very early on became a paediatrician, and um, I worked in hospital medicine, like all paediatricians, so that's where I trained, but about 15 years ago, I realised that I didn't really want to see children with coughs and colds, and I was much more interested in working with children with chronic problems, um, and working with their families, so I find it really... Um, it's a real privilege to work with families who have children with disabilities 
and I learn a lot from them and it's really wonderful to see the family growing and, and the child developing and again it's this whole picture of the, of the child within their family and that's what I like. I have lots of hobbies, I do lots of things, I do lots of walking and cycling and going to the theatre and I learn Spanish and I travel a lot but at the moment my new hobby because I'm very obsessed with food and cooking is that I'm learning about sugar craft because a friend of mine runs a company making cakes and so she's, we've been going on courses at the Nuthouse Bakery and I went on one yesterday and I've made a cake so I've brought my cake for you to see and I'll just look to the camera, sorry. <laughs>